Hello lovely Taurus, welcome to your reading. What do we need to know for you? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Oh, hello. That's interesting. So a whole load of, well, a few cards have just dropped on the floor. So one moment, Taurus. Those are going to be your opening cards. Four cards. Excellent. Makes me think of four candles, you know, with Ronnie Barker. Oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Very nice. Ooh, sad. Someone's sanding down the road. As you know, if you watch me regularly, there is very often someone sanding in one of my videos. Okay, overall energy card, Taurus. You get the six of wands. Winner, winner, chicken dinner, or vegan alternative. This is a joyous card, okay? There's no... You can't really throw any shade on the six of wands because here it is, it's a six. Six is a very dynamic number in tarot. It's wands, which is fire, kundalini energy, lots of woof, but also it always shows somebody, it's a bit like when the footballers win the cup, you know, and then they go around the town on the bus and try not to drop it off the top. It's a celebration. It's like, yay, I got there. I reached it. I'm successful. It's a victory card it's got a bit of that. It's a bit of a kind of get to the top of the mountain, breathe out and think, yes, I did it. So for some of you, you're going to climb that summit, whatever that is, emotional, physical. In this reading, we're going to look at the emotional, the physical. We're going to look at your love life. We're going to look at your life purpose, um, channeled messages and career messages as well. Okay, so we're starting with a winner and next to it, one of the best cards that you can get in the whole of tarot. It's quite difficult to actually read when you get the sun because again, a bit like the six of wands, the sun card is radiance and good fortune and the sun is shining. It's kind of yang energy. You can clearly see all of these things. There's just nothing really bad to be said about it. Um, I think you're going to run into a phase of rather good luck, which will feel like it's come out of nowhere, or a phase of what the Greeks used to call eudaimonia, which is a kind of pleasurable state, but not in a, ha ha, I'm so happy, or I've just had five magnums, or any of that. It's more of a generally, all is well with me you know, a, a feeling of ease and also a feeling of being, heading for something that is your purpose, living your purpose, walking your purpose, walking your own light, telling your own story, being very authentic. I'm liking this for you, especially since next to the sun, I get the ace of pentacles. Now the Ace of Pentacles, sometimes people aren't that fussed about the Ace of Pentacles because, you know, they want the Ace of Cups or they want a more, I suppose, glamorous card. But when you get the Ace of Pentacles, there's a few things to consider. One, when you get it next to the sun, it's almost like another sun. It's like this cosmic hand, which is that hand there with all the poofy clouds, is holding something that almost looks like the sun. Also, it's a pentacle. So it's holding money. Money is energy. And then also it's got the red rose here and it's got the white. I think that's a rose there. One of them is like for purity and the other one is more like that kundalini energy and the experience and magic. Those two things are then bordering this archway which goes through seemingly to the sea. I always imagine this as a very nice sort of stately home garden you know, that like goes, a bit like Mandalay, you know, that goes down to the sea. And it feels as if you're going through a cosmic porthole here, but with a 3D experience. So let's boil that down a minute. If we think in terms of career life purpose, you are holding something in your hand. It could be talent, it could be your life experience, there is an element here of it being slightly coming down from the esoteric, as it always does with the Taurian. 
but there comes a way that you can monetize that, that you can make that flesh, make that real, make that 3D, um, which, which is a very liberating state of affairs. Schwing, okay? When you can do something that fulfills you and that same something also puts bread on the table, that is an irresistible combination and one that we don't all get for an entire lifetime. Usually there are periods in our life, and this has come up for a lot of signs this month, there are periods in our life where we're, we're working for the man, as they say, you know, we're paying off our student debt, we're saving for a house deposit, um, whatever it is, different reasons, you know, we're skint or we're not, or we've got debt or something. And we take what job we can and we do what we do and we're sort of nose to the grindstone just getting through the days. And that's okay because that happens, you know, we're not all silver spoon merchants, we don't all have like an enormous trust fund or whatever, but we know how to get our hands dirty when we need to. Then there comes a point usually where you get to be able to consider yourself, to consider what you're doing to almost become like the third person and be looking in at yourself and thinking, is this what I want? Is this my life? Is this my purpose? Is this my path? Bigger questions, more what we would call, I suppose, existentialist questions. And you also get the Five of Cups. And this is a card about what has passed. We've got the ruin here up on the hill and the person is looking and thinking that was once my life, that was once my house, that was once my castle, that was once my heart, that was once me. In a way, I feel like the old you is gone and you're stepping into a new book, entire book, never mind chapter, but a whole new book, okay? There is something here about regret or I mean the five of cups is it's a five it's a disruptor card it's a card um, that brings about change usually through grief through looking back through really admitting to yourself where you've come from what's and all the whole bit and being able to just include all of that as if you were doing a show reel of your life so far you're not editing out those difficult moments so it feels as though some of you could be recovering from a particular cycle, moving into another cycle, but almost as if you are walking between the two cycles, as if they were like circles or cycles, but you're, there's a bridge. You need to bridge them to get to the next one. You need to make a bridge, okay? But the bridge you create yourselves, then walk across and you are walking in the creating. So it's a bit like, I'm sure there was like a sci-fi game show that did this. It might have been, oh God, I can't remember what it was called because I really hated it. But anyway, as you go to take the next step, it's almost an act of trust that this, whatever it is, will appear. The next step will come, literally, as you sort of, you walking is laying out the bridge at the same time. We're just getting weird today. I'm going to show you the cards. There we go. I like this. There is a sense of recovery here. It's not, um, it's not all glitter and unicorns. You know, there is recovery, there is regret, there is redaction, there is a feeling of review, okay? But this is kind of your life purpose at the moment, and I rather like it. I'm going to look at a couple of specific career cards, then I'm going to look at your love life. There's always an extended reading to the love life part, okay? So I'll do the cards down here, and then I do an extended reading where we take the love cards and we clarify them with cards from my tarot cupboard and from my tarot basket and decks that I can't use on YouTube any longer. And we ask, how do they feel? What's going on? What's the real story? What's the shadow story? What? W-T-F. <laughs> Can't curse on YouTube. 
if you want that it's the first link in the description box okay career oh wow your cards are just offering themselves up here like pick me okay so we get our old friend the knight of pentacles the knight of pentacles he is mr sensible he is mr saturn he is miss and saturn is retrograde which is interesting until about mid-november 2024 so again you may be looking over what you've done for a career so far where it's got you whether you regret anything whether there's any missed turns here you know like a missed road the road not traveled we also have with the knight of pentacles a need to take things slowly which as a taurian i think you understand very well you're fixed earth you know the cycles you know that life is moving in seasons in particular because you rule things like soil and farming and all that kind of stuff so in your career i wouldn't be expecting massive um sudden leaps you know that might be a bit of a red flag actually you want things to be evolving you want things to be natural but also you're kind of in it for the long game so you may be doing some training, you may be doing something that you know is not going to pay off in the near future, but you're looking, you know, two years ahead, one year ahead, five years ahead. Then we have the Hierophant. This is very interesting. The Hierophant can represent the structure of where you work. It can represent having a boss. It can be um, words of wisdom, but also and promotion and belonging to something almost corporate actually but it, i think in your case the hierophant is taking its other role which is more like um what do they call it mentor like a spiritual mentor so somebody is taking you on as a spiritual mentor they are this person you might already know, they might have popped up, it might be in a book, it could be on YouTube, it could be in real life, whatever, you're going to know. If they haven't popped up yet, they're going to. And this person has got something to teach you, probably about something you're already interested or studying, but they have another side to it that could impact on career. It could lead to monetization of some kind or security of energy which i really like okay one more for career and then nice I'm gonna do love life we have the ace of wands as well kundalini energy again creativity creativity coming out of something you've been interested in for a while something a bit esoteric but you're moving slowly and each time you do it is another brick in the wall. You know, this is, you're building something here. So if you're in a job you can't stand at the moment, I'm not sure it's a time to be um, impulsive. It's a time where you could easily do another six months just to get where you need to be because you know that you're playing the long game. So I would say no sudden moves at the moment, but getting more into your origin story and where you want to be next and also about what you actually feel excited about because the rest of it will come let's have a look at your love life oh nice look at you getting the fool so the fool is a new cycle he's got the white rose of purity okay he's got his knapsack although i've always thought that was a very questionable shape myself um, I like the dog though, love the little dog. So the little dog is your conscience kind of yapping at your heels saying, no, don't do it. But hey ho, about your love life, it looks like a new adventure is in order, a new cycle, something fresh. The fool is number zero, which means that there aren't any numbers yet for the fool. They're brand new. They're like an egg. Zero is shaped like an egg. Isn't that weird? Which came first, the zero or the egg? Okay. 
we have the Queen of Pentacles. We have the Three of Pentacles. There's a lot of pentacles going on in your life at the moment, which I like. And we have the King of Wands. Okay. Queen of Pentacles is my Queen of Velvet waiting. This card shows up when you're waiting for something, but not in a sort of, oh my God, will it ever happen? Oh my God, I don't know. I'm not going to be able to live if I don't have this. You know, it's not in that kind of way. When you get the Queen of Pentacles, it's more in a, an elegance. You, you already know you're on a new cycle. You can already sense that things are coming in. But at the same time, you're not pushing for it to be a certain thing, a certain person, a certain relationship. You're allowing a sense of seasonality. Even if there's somebody you're mad about, you're still allowing this season of kind of sensible practicality. It's like being pragmatic about it. You've got the three of pentacles. This is about a relationship where you're both batting for the same team. You're both building something together. It's something about these pentacles being tangible, working together. You could also start a relationship with somebody you have some kind of work connection to or money connection to or project connection to because this is about a project or at a sort of evening class or something that you're doing, you know, you're like a sculpting class, a life drawing class. Um, I don't know, God, what do people do at evening classes? Garage mechanics, who knows, woodwork. But this is somebody you've got an affinity with, you know, they feel interesting like you can create something with them, like it's a new start. We have the King of Wands here. The King of Wands is a person who is charismatic. So the person that you're dealing with or the person you could meet is somebody who is happy in their own skin. They can often be like a dancer or, you know, an athlete or somebody who just likes sort of building fires, being outdoors, camping, stuff like that. I'm liking this for you. What else do we need to know, please, about this love life? Oh, wow. You get the Empress, which is very nice. Again, the Empress for me is like the Queen of Pentacles, but times 10. She's, she's obviously the gestation of a child takes nine months. She's in no hurry. She's usually surrounded by woodland creatures. Um, she also has the new moon here, or just after new moon, really. Um, you could make an advance in a relationship at the time of a new moon. So have a look at the moon calendar, see when the full moons are, see when the new moons are, okay? Oh, I like this. Then we get the magician. And the king of cups. This is something about you and somebody else having a very spiritual connection. Because these characters here, you've got the Hierophant here up there, you've got the Empress, you've got the Magician, and you've got the King of Cups. The Empress is very spiritual in the feminine energy way. The Magician is very spiritual in the masculine energy way. The Magician has the infinity above, and it's as above, so below. You're pulling in a relationship here. You're pulling in somebody special 
but you have a lot to do with it. You may get sights and sounds and weird signs and God knows what coincidences about this person because I feel like you're pulling them in but they're pulling you in at the same time. I know. And then the King of Cups. The King of Cups is all about reaching a higher emotional state. I think in this relationship with this person, you're capable of reaching a higher emotional state. Gosh. Make sure you don't get like spiritually burnt out though by this, because I can feel that this is like a, a marriage of like spiritual, physical, mental, the whole bit kind of mixed together. In the extended reading, I'm going to pull a whole new love reading based on this, but with a completely different deck. Let's have a look at your love cards. You get friendship. Oh, swim flow, oh my God. Okay, no wonder then. Okay. Your love cards, let's have a look up here because it's easier to see them. First card you get is friendship. So some of your relationships, maybe romantic ones, are going to remain friendships, okay? And that's okay. It may be that it isn't the right time or it's the right time, wrong person, wrong person, right time, whatever, who cares, don't question it. Leave it as it is, it's still worthwhile. We also have Twin Flame, and that is more of the magician relationship, where it says here, trust the magnetic pull of your Twin Flame, it will guide you towards them. They're pulling you in, and you're pulling them in. Okay, very interesting, and we'll be doing some of that in the extended as well. And then abundance. I never question abundance, I just go, oh brilliant. Open your heart to receive the abundant love the universe has to offer, okay? Goodness me. Um, it will require some trust though, okay? It will require some trust on your part and on theirs. But this is very interesting. Taurus, I'm gonna go do the extended. That's the first link in the description box, but leave me a comment. Let me know your situation, say hello in the comments. I love reading my comments and I'll reply to as many as I can, okay? And I'll see you soon. Namaste.